love men do. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Sly Wagon Lessons. It's a great day for some Beatles music. It's almost always a great day for some Beatles music, and one of their very early recordings, uh, Love Me Do, is in the rack for today. It has got to be one of the most recognizable uh, harmonica riffs uh, going. Uh, starts like this. <laughs> All right. Everybody's going to know you're playing Love Me Do when they hear that, essentially that first note coming out of your harmonica. The song is in the key of G. It's a simple little song. That's one of the things I love about it. Really only one verse uh, that you play over and over and then a bridge. And then the harmonica bit um, was played by John Lennon and it comes after uh, and in between uh, every verse. And um, so it's in the key of G, as I mentioned. We need the uh, blues scale, so I've got a um, C harmonica. You'll recall, you uh, find which is the proper harmonica if you want to play uh, the blues scale. So second position, uh, you count up to the fourth, right? So G, A, B, C, uh, a C diatonic harmonica, Richter tuned, is going to give you the uh, the proper scale. Now, spoiler alert, uh, we're not going to be able to play all the harmonica bits uh, with this uh, C diatonic harmonica that um, John plays on the record uh, because he plays it on a chromatic. Short story is, this song, if you want to play the whole thing on the harmonica, uh, requires that you uh, be able to play an F. You've got an, an F here on the five draw, it's that very first note. All right, there's your um, natural F. Um, but it also does call for an F sharp. The F, natural F, is in the G blues scale. The F sharp is in the G chromatic scale. So John plays a chromatic harmonica. Uh, here's one. Uh, this is a behemoth with uh, four full uh, octaves there. Um, so it's got this button. And via the, the slide or the button, you can, um, you can uh, achieve sharps and flats. All right? So uh, if I was playing in the key of G... Right? I'm playing that natural F. Then when uh, they get to the bridge, uh, the first time, so the bridge is the part that goes, um, uh, Some want to love somebody new. Right? So the chords, incidentally, are D, C, and G. It's a, it's a very simple little song. Uh, Some want to love someone like you. So there's an F sharp in there. Uh, you can access it. When you see me uh, apply the uh, slide, that means I'm, I'm accessing that F sharp. <laughs> All right. So that's how John does it on the record. We're not able to uh, replicate that on the diatonic harmonica. And because we're playing the uh, guitar at the same time, you can't, um, even if you had your chromatic in the rack, you wouldn't be able to uh, apply that button because your hands are busy, right? So uh, we are going to uh, do a workaround on the guitar. And it's the workaround that you heard in the intro uh, to this lesson where I kind of pick out that little bridge melody on the guitar while I'm strumming. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later on in the lesson. We're going to start with um, the intro. So that intro is made up of four uh, kind of phrases on the harmonica. Uh, the first three are very similar, but some subtle differences um, between uh, each of them. And then uh, there's a little bit at the end that is mostly on a, on a two drop. So I'm going to show you the intro. Once you know the intro uh, in those four phrases, the first two phrases um, comprise the break then that gets put in between 
uh, all of the verses. And then, like I said later on, I'll show you the um, how to pick out that bridge melody on the guitar since we're not able to play it on the uh, on the diatonic harmonica. All right, so stick around. Uh, and uh, just real quick here, take a second to subscribe to Sly Wagon Lessons for more song-based instruction on how to play the harmonica and the guitar together at the same time. And like I said, it's a great day for some Beatles music, and we're going to learn Love Me Do. All right, so as mentioned, the intro to Love Me Do is made up of four phrases on the harmonica. The first three, very similar, uh, using that uh, five draw to begin, and then uh, subtle differences uh, for the rest of them. Uh, and then there's a fourth phrase that is uh, mostly the, the two draw, but thrown in a four blow, three draw there. Uh, I'll show you all of that in the Picto tab, uh, each phrase uh, kind of separately. In the Picto tab, you will recall that a blue square means you blow on that hole, and a red square means to draw uh, on that hole or inhale. Because we're playing cross harp today uh, or in second position, whole lot of draw notes. That's kind of a characteristic of playing in the second position, that there's more draws than blows. Down in the chord cam, uh, you will see the very simple chord progression. I hesitate to call it a progression. There's just uh, two chords uh, in the harmonica uh, portion here, in the body of the, the, the verses of the song. Just a G and a C. I like to play the G this way with my pinky. Uh, catching that high G on the E string so that I can also then play a C with very minimal hand movement, which I think is just a good uh, guitar playing practice to try to uh, minimize, your, um, minimize your hand movement. All right, so to that first phrase, the very recognizable natural F is the first note, which is a five draw on the harmonica. There it is. Okay, so you notice those two draws um, are on the offbeat, which is uh, something that uh, is probably going to take a bit of practice, um, but it, uh, it sounds fabulous. So uh, that was the first phrase. You'll notice you hold that five draw for two beats or, or, or more. The... Uh, <laughs> Second time through, you're going to uh, play individual uh, notes on the five draw and the five blow. Uh, and then the rest of the, the uh, little riff will be the same as the first time through. All right, so here's the second phrase. All right, we're getting there. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Uh, certainly the chords are, uh, are simple. Uh, and once you get the timing of the, the syncopation uh, on, the, uh, on the two draw, uh, it'll all start to come together. And you, you separate those notes just with uh, kind of hitting the uh, roof of your mouth with your tongue, and that interrupts the airflow, right? Okay, so we've done it twice. Now we're going to go through the third time for the intro. Okay, so uh, you'll notice that's very similar to the, to the first time. All right, and then the fourth phrase that ends the, um, uh, the intro, you, you start with a little bit of a... Uh, precursor, I suppose, <laughs> where it's a four blow, um, uh, four draw, and then down to the two uh, draw again. So just to find my <laughs> spot, you're, you're on the two draw. There's your four blow and four draw. I threw in an extra note there at the end. Don't do that. <laughs> that was an extra bonus to draw for you that you don't actually play in the intro. All right? So those are the four separate phrases. I'm just going to uh, go through it one more time, uh, kind of start to finish, slowly, 
and put it up in the uh, picto tab for you. the singing part. Uh, so that's that very recognizable intro. In the next segment, I'm going to cover off the uh, solo portion that is going to include a little bit of guitar picking to replace the uh, notes on the harmonica that we just can't play on the, um, on the diatonic harmonica. Okay, so we've covered off the intro and um, busted it up into four phrases there. Those first two phrases are the harmonica bit that you'll play in between verses, all right? So you end up playing it, I think, um, after the first verse, then you do uh, the second verse, and you play it again, and then you sing the bridge, um, which in includes, uh, involves the uh, D chord. Someone to love, somebody new, right? Uh, so, and then you repeat it, uh, basically, the chord progression at least. And then you're into a verse again. Um, and then you play a solo. Um, in the, in the, if I back up for just a second, in the uh, bridge portion in the singing, on the record, you can hear John playing that chromatic harmonica behind the, um, the singing. Uh, so, um, and that's essentially what you want to do in the solo if we could achieve those notes um, on the uh, diatonic. And you know what? Uh, uh, to be honest, with some wicked good bending of, um, of notes, draw notes, you could do it, right? I can't do it, <laughs> particularly when I'm playing the guitar at the same time. It just requires a little bit too much uh, precision and concentration to try to hit the notes. And it wouldn't sound like the record anyway, because John's not bending those notes. He's, he's playing the, the chromatic, uh, so there's no, there's no bending involved. Uh, he's just applying that button. So uh, technically, you could do it on a, uh, on a diatonic harmonica. We're not going to learn that today. I'm going to show you how to, a uh, little workaround, uh, since you're playing the guitar anyway, why not pick out those notes on the guitar, uh, since you can't really play them on the um, on the harmonica. All right. So the solo again starts just with those two first two phrases from the um, from the intro. <laughs> So you've got those two phrases done. Then there's the part that you can't play, so you're going to replace it with um, some guitar picking. And here's how that sounds. And you're going to repeat that, play it again. So uh, I'm going to blow up uh, and split the screen here with the, uh, the chord cam to show you um, and explain the, uh, the picking pattern that I'm doing. And I'm, uh, you have to be careful uh, not to interrupt the, the, the strumming, right? So the rhythm um, stay. I've got this weird sunspot on my head uh, that I'm trying to avoid. So uh, <laughs> let me show you um, uh, the, the, the picking strumming pattern that I do just to try to, uh, it's very simple, uh, melody uh, to, to pick it out on the guitar, all right? So you've played on the harmonica with the G and the C uh, sort of chord progression, those first two phrases that we learned in the intro. And now you're getting into the, um, what is essentially the bridge portion. So you're going to do uh, D, C, G, and you're going to go through it twice. So... What am I doing there? I am, when with my fingers, 
uh, forming a D, a simple D chord. So middle finger on that high string at the second fret, ring finger on the uh, D note on the second string, so second string, uh, third fret, and then uh, picking up the A note, so the uh, second fret on the G string, you use your index finger. That's a D chord, right? You emphasize, uh, pick it out uh, to begin the strumming, um, pick out the A note, so third string. Uh, and then you do it again. So the, the pattern is pick, down, up, pick. All right? And then lift up that uh, index finger so that you're playing a G and then again need some pinky strength get your pinky over there to that uh, fourth string at the fourth fret and that's an F sharp the the mysterious F sharp that we can't achieve on the uh, the C diatonic harmonica we can pick out on the guitar all right that's the reason we're here on the guitar Okay, so we're kind of halfway through the, the, the first phrase. And then you strum again after you hit that F sharp. And you can leave your F sharp there because uh, it fits. It goes well with a, D, uh, with a D chord. Then you're going to switch to a C chord. And again, pick that third string, that's a G, down, up, and it works nicely because you're on the C, you've picked, down, up, then you, um, uh, the, uh, what is it, the fourth string, I guess, you've got your middle finger, you're making that C note. So your middle finger is uh, at the second fret. That is an E note. And then you lift it up as you're switching to, to make the G chord anyway. Uh, you pick it first with the C formation, then pick it again as you're switching. So it's open, open D, and then pick that bass G note the bottom string again it's your uh, middle finger by that point all right so that's how the whole thing sounds So that's sort of the second part of that solo. You've got the first two phrases on the harmonica. You've got the little picking through the D, C, G um, uh, progression on the guitar. And then you just finish it. Uh, again, you're, on the, you're back to the G, C uh, chord combination for the verses. And you uh, throw in a bit of two draw. So again, it's up at the chord cam there. You can see it's two draw, then uh, a four blow, and a three draw. All right, and it's a bit of a hard stop there, and then you're back into the love, love, me do, you know. And I should not sing Beatles songs because I don't, <laughs> can't really do them justice. All right, so... I'll play that through um, sort of at speed one more time so you can um, hear how it sounds. Uh, you're coming out, you're a, a verse, and you're getting into the, um, the solo. <laughs> I 
I throw a little bend on that two draw uh, just for inflection. I'm not trying to hit a, a precise note or anything like that. What I am trying to do is, if you listen to the record, you're going to hear John. I don't know how he achieves this, um, but he does a little bit of a growl note on the uh, second uh, note in that um, in the introductory phrase, and uh, I can't uh, haven't been able to uh, replicate that myself. Uh, so as kind of an homage to his uh, playing, though, I do try to growl uh, the two draw a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, growl that you can, uh, if you practice at it, you can uh, achieve. It involves some kind of fluttering <laughs> of the, um, the 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 mouth cavity while you're um, while you're drawing on the two hole. All right, uh, so that's the song then, uh, pretty much in its entirety. You know how to play it. The four uh, different phrases for that introductory part. You'll use the first two phrases. Uh, in between verses, and then for the solo, again, you use those first two phrases, put that guitar bit in, and then a little bit on the, uh, the two draw, four blow, three draw, uh, to close it out. That is Love Me Do by the Beatles. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, have some fun uh, working that one out, and then you add it to your set list, and, uh, and it's all good because it's always a beautiful day to play some Beatles music. And uh, thanks for tuning in. See you again.